this golf cart is freaking awesome. Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Karting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, today I've got a friendly fellow Ohioan. Blake Holland, who's from Oxford, Ohio, and we're going to take a look at his cart today, and it is impressive to be sure. He has taken it all the way down to the bones, and I think you're really going to love seeing what he's done to it. It's freaking massive. So let's go ahead and jump in with Blake. Blake, welcome to Golf Cart TV. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for having me, Matt. This is great. So Blake, tell me a little bit about just kind of the basics of stuff. What's the, the, where did you start with on this cart? Make, model, year, that kind of stuff. And then maybe just a little bit of how in the world you got into building a golf cart. Yeah. So this one is a 2013 Easy Go TXT. It's got the um, 13 horsepower Kawasaki engine. Um, when I bought it, it was, uh, it did not look like this. Um, it was Every, all the metal on it was rusted out. It was, uh, the only good thing about it was the motor, which is what I was after. Um, and my goal with this was to pretty much, you know, um, strip everything down and replace every nut and bolt on it, um, which is what I ended up doing. It took me uh, about three months to do the whole build. Um, I've, been, I've been super happy with it. It's a lot of fun. Awesome, Blake. So tell us uh, about, you know, what you did to make this a, a one-of-a-kind car. Give us a little, a little tour, if you will. Yeah, so uh, I guess we'll just kind of start from bottom to top, uh, which is kind of how I built it. Um, I wanted to go just super, uh, super big with the wheels and tires and suspension setup. So it's got a uh, Jake's long travel kit on it. Um, I've got it set at about eight or nine inches of lift right now. Um, custom painted, all the A-arms, all the hardware, everything like that. Uh, wheels and tires, I went with a... Kaiser wheel. Uh, it's all aluminum. They're 12 by 14s, and then I have them wrapped in 25 inch Kenda Bear Claw tires. So for the rear lift, um, I went with some uh, heavy duty leaf springs, and then I custom manufactured some extended shackles just to get another two to three inches of lift out of the rear, along with the blocks that came with the Jake's kit. Um, interior wise, I did a um, custom mat from VHCL mats in uh, the color that matches all the cart's accent colors. And then it also matches the seat covers, the diamond stitching, it turned out really nice. I got these from golfcartsandsupplies.com. Alex there is awesome. They fit really easy and were really easy to, to wrap over the factory covers. And here's a look at the rear. And then I went with a Mods, uh, the, the rear seat kit's new, that's from Mods. Turned out really nice, it was easy to put together. Um, did new LED taillights. Uh, I took the body off and had it, um, took it to a local body shop and had it painted in a Toyota white paint, which turned out really nice. And then uh, this cart's fully street legal, so it's got seat belts, horn, turn signals, rear view mirror, all that good stuff. And then for uh, sound system, I went with the EcoX gear. I think it's the SC26 soundbar. Works really nice. And then uh, flip windshield, I tinted it. And then lastly, uh, it's got underglow on it. I went with, uh, I think the brand is SunPie, but it's an eight pod. Uh, controlled with your Bluetooth on your phone. It's like a million colors. Um, so it looks really nice at night. So, um, And then motor-wise, it's just the factory Kawasaki 13 horsepower. Just cleaned it up a little bit. The only addition I did to the motor, uh, because I've got a lot of hills and trails on my property here, um, I went with a upgraded heavy-duty clutch along with a G-Boost drive belt, which really uh, helps this cart power up hills whenever, you know, you've got, you know, two to four uh, adults on here. So it's got plenty of power. 
And other than that, I don't think I missed anything. But there's the full view there. Yeah, that's impressive. So what's the uh, what's the story behind that color? Is that just a color you chose, you like, something you – is there something there? As far as the white or the, the green, accent yeah, colors? Yeah, kind of the, the, the sea foam or I don't know what you want to call it, green. Yeah, it's a sea foam green and um, the copper accents. I actually got it. There was a, a SEMA truck that I had seen floating around Instagram that had his uh, – lift kit painted in a similar color combo and i just wanted something that was really going to stand out um so it turned out nice very cool so what's kind of your your standard use for it what you said you kind of drive around you got some property there is it just for fun do you guys just hang out on the property or you i know you said it's street legal so you take it into town what's how do you use the cart yeah a little bit of everything um you know i I think I drive it a little bit less now that it's all done up because I <laughs> hate getting it dirty. I like it to stay clean, but uh, like tonight we're having a fire, so I'll go out in the woods and load some firewood up on the back of it. And um, But yeah, we, we take it to town every now and then. Um, we've got tons of trails on the property. Um, that's originally why I got into golf karting. Um, I previously had a, a club car uh, that I'd bought from a dealer and it had just a basic four inch lift on it in some, you know, um, oversized tires. And it just, after, you know, doing a couple of modifications myself after that, it became an obsession and I've got two young sons. So they, uh, they love going on rides on it. Um, unfortunately they're getting to the age now where they want to drive this one. So I've got to be <laughs> right. a little bit careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we use it for pretty much everything. Um, when it's nice out, you know, get out on it daily and have some fun on it. And as the uh, fellow Ohioan, does it uh, work well in the in the snow at all, or have you had it through a season of snow yet? You know, I haven't had this one through snow yet. Um, I just bought it back in the spring, okay. um, so I'm curious to see how it does. Yeah, I think those big, those big what do you call them, bear claw or something tires? I think that's going to help out a lot for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it'll be fun to tie the kids uh, behind it on a rope and a sled and pull them around the yard. So. Awesome, Blake. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. It's uh, you are my first Ohioan, so it's glad to have uh, somebody else from Ohio on here. It's yeah. not just people from Florida and Texas and all kinds of stuff that have golf carts. We can do it up here too. So uh, glad to have you on. Absolutely. Thanks for joining me today. It's really cool. Thanks, Matt. It's been a pleasure.